This is Province Sports columnist Ed Willis with uh, the weekly tour around the NHL. And uh, we're going to start this week in Toronto where things just seem to go from bad for worse to the poor old Leafs. Uh, now, there was some encouraging news. They did score three goals against Ottawa on Wednesday, which is uh, more than they'd scored in their five previous games combined. The bad news, or the worst, the more realistic news at least, is it uh, came in a loss to the Sens, which is their sixth in a row and 13 of the last 17. Um, interim head coach Peter Horacek uh, came in tried to install a little more defensively responsible system. He, he succeeded there, but uh, the Leafs offense, which was the strength of the team under Randy Carlisle, has just dried up like a prune. Um, uh, that uh, leaves Phil, uh, Phil Kessel offer, offering this, Jim. He was asked, you know, what the Leafs have to do. And uh, Phil the Thrill said, uh, what do we have to do? We have to slay a drag. And uh, not sure what that means, but uh, it does raise an interesting point for the Leafs. Uh, Kessel is a lot of things, but he's a legitimate goal scorer. And there's not a lot of those out on the marketplace. And with the trade deadline looming, a uh, team that thinks it's close, say in Nashville, uh, a St. Louis and Islanders, uh, might take a long, hard look at Ed Kessel. At least that's what a uh, Leafs fan uh, are, are hoping for. Uh, now we're all about the positivity and good news here, so we'd like to uh, t tell two happier stories. Uh, the first one is in Winnipeg, where uh, the Jets have emerged as the NHL surprise team this year. They've uh, they've won six in a row heading into the All Star break. They're fifth in the West, and uh, they're also healthy for the first time uh, this season, which raises a, an interesting situation for GM Kevin Chevaldeoff. He's got nine healthy defensemen at a time when injuries are starting to mount around the NHL. Um, he's in a position where he could add a legit legitimate top nine forward. He's dealing from a position of strength. Shevel Dayoff has received a lot of criticism in Winnipeg for his uh, reticence in making move, but I think it's time for him to strike because this Jets team is close. And our last stop is in Detroit where uh, the, the, the Red Wings are just harder to kill than Rasputin. They're, they're, they've re-emerged again as a league power. Little different team this time. They're not as reliant on Henrik Zetterberg and Pavel Datsuk and players like uh, Thomas Tatar uh, and Gustav Nyquist have, have emerged as game breakers. Uh, for the Red Wings, though, the, the, the real interesting development has been since uh, starting goalie Jimmy Howard went down with a slight gro groin tear. They're 5-0. Uh, they're, uh, uh, Peter Mrazek is 4-0. Is and, oh, and their backup, Thomas McCollum, uh, won his first game uh, since he was a first-round draft pick in 2008. Uh, that was the same year the Canuck, or, uh, Canucks goalie Jacob Marks from, uh, was drafted by Florida. Uh, interesting journey for, Mc, for McCollum. American League, East Coast League. Had just one, one appearance with the Red Wings before this win. So uh, this is uh, him talking about his uh, long and uh, winding road to the NHL. He says, at one point I was starting to wonder if I'd ever get a shot in the NHL. I was hoping to get a chance. You just never know how things are going to happen. And uh, this is Ed Willis signing off.